Hello everyone. I wanted to work this problem from the homework set. Uh, the instructions ask us to uh, rationalize the denominator. Uh, this one was from the uh, section dealing with dividing radical expressions. I believe that was um, 7.4 and it's was one of the more missed ones. Not the most prominently missed, but missed quite often. So how do we get rid of the radicals in the denominator. And right off the bat you might have stumbled by saying, hey look, there aren't any radicals down here. But of course you can rewrite this as um, what, I, what I call going from a house united to a house divided. And then you more clearly see the radical in the denominator. This represents a irrational number almost certainly and they want us to rid, us, rid the fraction of that irrational expression. And so how do we go about doing that? Well, um, I'm going to make an observation here. Let me drag this in. Here's the observation. Notice what I've, I've done here is I've taken the denominator and then I've written it two more times multiplying these three together. Now essentially what we have is a number being cubed. And I could rewrite this right here, this expression, in terms of exponents like this. And I'm doing this to uh, bang, bang the drum one more time on this observation I've been making that I've been hitting pretty hard, namely that uh, uh, powers or exponents undo radicals. And so this third power is going to undo this third root. And they are inverse operations. They undo each other just as multiplication and division, subtraction and addition undo each other. And so essentially the radical would vanish under that third power and we would end up with something that has no radical and would in fact be rational. So the uh, game here is to essentially duplicate this series of steps right here in the denominator up above. And so how do we do that? Well, whenever you're dealing with fractions you can change the way they look by multiplying them by a fancy form of one. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply the bottom by this. Notice I would then have three of these. It would be cubed. The cube would undo the cube root. So let me draw in the fraction bar and of course we are going to have we're going to have to maintain the value of that fraction to the left by multiplying the top by the same number as I'm multiplying the bottom. In other words uh, banging home a point that's probably been banged too much. This is really just a fancy form of 1 and when you multiply this expression which happens to be a fraction by 1 you don't change its value. So that's the game going on and let's create some space here and continue on with this. Now in the bottom we are going to go straight to that number being cubed. And on the top I've left the radicals separate. Uh, in a sense, all I've done is the multiplication straight across. Now again, the third power is going to rid us of this cube root. And we are going to have what we desire in the bottom, a situation, an expression that has no radicals. And so I've rationalized the denominator. Of course, I need to take care of the business in the top. And I'm going to go to a house united here since the roots are all to the uh, same index. We can rewrite this as a house united. And the question is, what are we going to get under there? And I'm going to, let's see, well, we're going to have 5a squared and b to the fourth. But since we're talking about a cubed root, I'm going to rewrite that slightly like this. Instead of 5a squared b to the fourth, I'm going to write it 5a squared b cubed times b. And the reason is is because uh, obviously um, we are once again going to note that this cube root is going to undo this cube. And the b will come out front. And we'll end up with something that looks like this. And we're very close to being done now. Uh, please notice that the we have a B in the top and we have a B in the bottom and they can in fact cancel. 
this B will cancel one of these two B's down here. And all that's left to do is really box our answer and pretty prettyfy it. And that's what I've done here. And so there you go. Notice that there aren't any uh, radicals in the denominator. And this thing has been rationalized. Okay, I hope, I hope that helped um, take you home on these. There will be one similar to this on the final. So give it a good look, and I'll be talking to you soon.